Hi, I'm Rob Mickelson. I'm the Director of Agronomic Services for Yara in North America. And I'm glad to spend a few minutes with you today talking about this important topic of promoting root health with proper plant nutrition. And especially we want to talk a few minutes about how the fertilizer source matters in terms of doing this. As I started to put this presentation together, I was reminded again of the marvelous complexity of plant roots with their ability to live in challenging soil environments and their amazing capacity to support the water and nutrition demands of plants under often very difficult conditions. I'm a big supporter of the concept of 4R nutrient stewardship. Within that framework, we need to consider the right source, the right rate, the right time and the right place of nutrient use whenever we're making any decisions related to fertilizers. One of the most satisfying and fulfilling parts of my career as a soil scientist is to see how proper use of fertilizer can benefit entire families and communities as crop yields and crop quality are enhanced with proper crop nutrition. So in our ongoing discussion of nutrients and roots, I want to ask the question, what is the role of starter fertilizer? Just as a quick refresher, placing a small amount of fertilizer near or with a seed or a transplant can really help speed up that early plant growth and get the crop off to a vigorous start. By promoting that early root growth, the plant gets better access to water and nutrients from deep in the soil, they produce more leaves and they grow a larger plant cover that speeds up their photosynthetic capacity. And that also helps plants get a competitive edge over the weeds. However, there's also an art to using starter fertilizers. There are many ways to position that fertilizer in the soil and then many fertilizer formulations that are used. Additionally, the soil conditions also make a big difference on how effective this practice is. For example, when soils are dry, salts from the added fertilizer are more likely to damage those young tender roots and end up reducing the crop stand. As a general rule in medium and fine textured soils, the risk that damage occurs from starter fertilizer drops if the moisture content is at least 25%. A global review on starter fertilizers was done by authors from Purdue University just a few years ago on the potential benefits of starter fertilizers. They have many great conclusions and I've listed those on the slide, but for now let's just focus on the one that I circled. They found that on average starter fertilizer increases corn grain yield by about 5% compared with identical growing conditions where no starter fertilizer was used. So if we decide to use a starter fertilizer, what is the best source of nitrogen to use? This work was done at Washington State University with canola and that clearly shows the impact of three different treatments, two different nitrogen sources used as starter fertilizer on canola root growth. You can see the brown root tip for the urea treatment and the swollen roots with the ammonium sulfate treatment. And this damage from these nitrogen fertilizers occurs beyond that we might expect from any salt alone. Because we know that when, when ammonia is released in the soil, it can be toxic and can enter those plant cells freely. This easily occurs from nitrogen sources such as anhydrous ammonia, urea, the liquid urea ammonium nitrate, ammonium sulfate, ammonium thiosulfate, diammonium phosphate, and it even occurs with fresh animal manure. And the harmful effect of this is even greater as the fertilizer or the soil reaction increases the soil pH. So nitrogen damage to roots from starter fertilizer can be all too common when the source rate, placement, or dry soil conditions are not favorable. So let's dig just a little bit deeper into this toxicity issue. 
We worked with Dr. Isaac Madsen from the Vera Root Company to do an evaluation of root growth that compared urea as a starter fertilizer with calcium nitrate as a starter fertilizer, specifically using tropicote fertilizer. Let's watch this short time-lapse video and see if you can tell which side is which treatment. I think you'll agree the difference is very clear. The roots that were fertilized with the urea on the left were stunted in their growth and they had necrotic or dead growing points. By comparison, the roots on the right that were fertilized with Yara Leva calcium nitrate go quickly. They had an abundance of healthy root branches and lots of white, healthy new roots growing through the soil. So urea and ammonium-based fertilizers can harm young roots, even when they're placed a fair distance away from those germinating seedlings, as you see in this picture there. So does this mean that urea and ammonium should never be used? No, but they need to be used carefully, and that placement and the soil condition need to be given careful consideration. The urea and the ammonium still give a yield boost, but nitrate is a much safer option and helps optimize that early season vigor. So as we've been talking, I hope you realize that plant roots are highly resilient to changing conditions. They have to adapt to a wide range of environmental stresses and soil stresses, but each of these stresses cause the plant performance to suffer. Our goal then as good agronomists is to eliminate as many of these yield robbing stresses as we can by managing the soil conditions, by promoting proper nutrient availability, and then ensuring good soil biology. I hope you'll join me in some future discussions as we talk about how to optimize plant health.